The midterm elections are less than a year away, and the number of Democrats retiring from public office at the end of this term could shift control of Congress back to the other side of the aisle. Uh, but what does the high level of retirement tell us about the state of our politics? Joe Khalil, live in Washington, to explain. Joe? Yeah, Adrian, every year we see lots of members of Congress retire. That's normal. But what's been unusual is that in their statements and in their video uh, messages that they've been putting out, just how many say that it's been polarization, that it's been sort of the ugliness of politics, all the division, that at least in part played a role in their decision to retire. At a time when our politics have become so divisive and dangerous, my greatest hope for my colleagues is that they do the same to stop the name calling, saber rattling, and the disinformation, and to listen to one another. The goal is just to destroy uh, people on the other side. Uh, and unfortunately, we're seeing too many of those uh, in public service uh, today. Now, those two, Ron Kind and Stephanie Murphy, if you're Democrats, you are worried about losing people like that. Those are moderates who come from tough districts. When they retire, they've been winning there, but Republicans have their eyes on those kinds of seats and think those are the types of places Republicans can win. Look, Democrats are slated to lose more people to retirement than Republicans are. Right now, Democrats have about 22 that have already announced they are retiring compared to uh, Republicans 13. And we're going to see a lot more because we're only halfway through the session. But this is all normal. Typically, when one party is expected to lose seats uh, from the polls, what they suggest in the next election, they have more retirements. Let's take a look at the numbers uh, over the past couple of cycles. In 2016, 2018, 2020, polls suggested that Republicans were going to lose big in those elections. And so you see on your screen a lot more Republican retirements this year, again, the trend is flipped. Polling suggests Democrats could lose big, and so that's why we're seeing, in part, uh, more Democrat retirements. Now, I should say that some Democrats are concerned because the people that they're losing, many of them are uh, committee chairs, people who have important roles in leadership. Uh, even Speaker Pelosi, there has been some speculation that this could be the last year that she serves in Congress. We're going to wait to see what the Speaker does. Uh, but all of this, again, the slim majority that Democrats have could have a real impact on who controls the balance of power. Adrian. All right, Joe, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.